Uh, hi, good evening all. Uh, we'll start in a couple of minutes. Hello. Hope my screen is visible. Huh? Is it visible? Yes, sir. Great. Yeah. So let me start the quiz to revision session. So actually, this is seventh and eighth uh, mock questions which we'll discuss, and some more questions are the, from the old papers are with me. Uh, I try to discuss that along with the concept behind it. If you want to solve that particular question, what concept is behind it? So let me start that uh, from the 10th question. Are you able to see my screen? Yeah, somebody wants to ask something. Yeah, joined. OK. Yeah, fine. Will all of them join? No, no. OK, OK. Yeah, hello to everyone. Actually, no problem. Even domain or uh, is it different also? No problem. They can join. Yeah, that's not issue. Look at. So from this, the 10th question onwards, the unit number 7 and 8 will be started. So let me start. This particular question is from AVL trees. So let me read that question is. Mm. Consider that the following elements are inserted in the given order of to create the AVL tree. So hope you remember that AVL tree is balanced binary tree. That's basically, you know, the weight of that uh, every particular root is going to be 0 or 1. Of course, it's minus 1 is there. We do that absolute. Absolute is that. So 1 or below 1. That means 0 or 1. It's not more than one by balancing factor. The balancing factor in the sense the depth from the current node. The, the current node is considered as a root from the root. So what is the left descendant depth is there? Right descendant depth is there. The depths which are there, that's going to be subtracted. If the balancing factor is one or zero, no problem. If it is more than one, there is not balanced. 
then we try to balance it. That's called basically how really the AVL tree works. So if the sequence of these particular numbers is inserted into AVL tree, so which of the following nodes would be that leaf nodes? So once this particular complete AVL tree is constructed with a definite condition of balancing factor, definitely the balancing factor has to be satisfied. Then what are the leaf nodes? Let me construct the tree first. So inserting 36 is not a problem, no issue. So that, you know, the basically AVL tree is a binary search tree. So always right descendants are right side of this particular, you know, root. So next one 40, no issue because balancing factor is satisfied. So then after, it, you know, 32, so no problem. It is inserted here. So from the root, if you consider, you have that one, one height. So if you subtract one and one, you get it that zero. So that no problem. The 36 from that 36, if you consider is a root, the balancing factor for the 36 we consider. Anyway, this 32 and 40 has not have any child. So any height below that, any depth is not there. So no problem, you know. Next 18 came. So 18, it goes to the 36 left. And then 32 left, 18. So once 18 is added, is there any problem with the balancing factor? Can you tell me? No, sir. No, no, no problem. No problem. So because, you know, what is the balancing factor for this one is zero because it does not have that left and right descendants. The balancing factor, if you consider it is, you know, what is this one? One. Yeah, right? Yeah. So what is the balancing factor for this one? Zero. Clear. So what happened this one? 36? Two minus one. One. So minus one or one. It might be anything one. like, you know, absolute value. That's one. <clears throat> so 18 adding also no problem. Now 72 is added. So 36 right, 40 right, 72 is added. So is there any problem with the balancing factor? No. No, no. issue. So now it is 5 came. So whenever 5 came, it's going to that left. Then 32 left 18 and then 18 left it's going with 5. Again, yeah. So here, here, when I'm adding 5, let me know what happens. I'll update my balancing facts again now for all of them. This, this and this. So now let me do that. Okay. So this is 0. So what is the balancing factor for this one? 1. one. What is the balancing factor for this one? 2. two. Yes. So by, by because, you know, from 32, you have the two depth is there. The height of the particular, you know, left descendants is going to be the two. But right descendants are zero. So we get two. So due to that, of course, this is also changed. We don't worry about it. We'll change about this one first. We try to balance after adding this particular, this particular change of that node five. The balancing factor is AVL, AVL criteria, AVL condition is not satisfied. Then we try to rotate it. So if you know that different kind of rotations, single left rotation is there, single right rotation is there, left right rotation is there, right left rotation is there. So right now we try to do that. What kind of rotation? Uh, right, left, left is there. So. Yes. This is what kind of rotation we do that? We will do right rotation. Yes. So we do, we, we do the right rotation and you do the right rotation so that we do that a right rotation here because of that unbalancing factor. So once you do that right rotation, what could be our tree? See, I'm, I'm making one partition here. The updated one we are updating here now. Again, I'm making its red color. So here 36 is there. So my 32 is here. Is it 32? It is no. 32, but after rotation, it's after 18. rotation, after rotation, I'm asking. 18, 18 should be yes. 18. So 18 is right, 18 is left. Yes. 32 and 5. 32. And this is? 5. 5. And there is no issue about the right side. So 40 is as it is. So then 72, no problem. So this 5 is over. Now 35 came. 
So after 35 came, what happens? This this 35. So then we try to insert 35. So it's going for left. Then 18 is right. Then 32 is there. So 32, right. we are trying to add it. Another one is the 35. So it can be added here. 35. Is there any issue with the balancing factor? No issue. You can check it because every node, every level, you can check it. So because yes. you, you might have a doubt here for 18. So 18 right side, you are having two. I left side, you have left side, you have one. Hmm. So that two minus one, it is one. So that no problem. One is not issue. Yes. More than one is a problem. So that no problem. Now it is new value 34 came. Here is the issue. 34 came and it is going to be added to the right side of this 35. Sorry, of course, I don't have space. This is here. There is a problem. So whenever this kind of problem is there, see, let me go for it. I'll try to scroll down. Don't worry. My tree is gone. Not issue. Even it's gone. Also, no problem because I can easily uh, draw this one after this uh, 34 is added. So our tree, it looks like this 36. So 18 in left, right, 5, 32. Yes. This is uh, 32 and 5. 5 and 32. And 36 the right there, 40. And again. So then we have that uh, 40 is there at right side. And then we have a 72. At right, yes. Up to here is fine. So then we have the 35. The next element is added. After adding 34, there is issue. Yes. Then the balancing factor is missing. Then what kind of rotations you are applying? So, uh, it's left and the left. Uh, no, no, no. 34 first, 32, sir. First, first it is right rotation. Then it is left rotation. Is it clear? First, you need to do this rotation as this. Is it right? Is it right? Hmm, RL, yes. Sir. Okay. So then after doing this job, what way your tree is, you know, 36. 18, 40, then 5, then after it 32 is as it is. So 34 will come here, 35 will come here. Is it clear? Yes. Of course, 72 is as it is. No issue about 70. Then we have that another rotation is that left right. rotation. Mm -hmm. So after that, what happens, you know? This particular 35, this 35, this particular part is changed. So whenever this particular part is changed, so what way it looks like, you know, this 34 is here. 34's left is 32. 34's right is 35. So now what are the final leaf nodes in the tree after complete VVL tree is constructed? So we have that final particular leaf nodes are 5 and 32, 35 and 72. This is about it. Yeah, somebody wants to ask something. No. Uh, yeah. Sorry, can I ask something? Yeah, hello. Yeah, hello, sir. Good evening, sir. sir can Good evening. Ask something? What do you want to ask? Please tell me. Pardon? Uh, yeah, sir. Actually, I joined right now. So can you explain the same question again? Sure, sure. The same also? sure, sure, sure. Definitely, definitely, definitely. I'm so, having a problem of constructing the tree. Like why the 18 is here? My doubt is that. 18, 18, no issue. 18, no issue. Just let me go over that. So I, I'm going for my blank page so that it could be better way. So I'll have that another blank page is there. So in that blank page, it's better. Yeah, Th this is my list of elements is given. I want to give the list of elements. So the list of elements is this. Wait. Yeah, this is. Wait, why this one? Mm. Wait, wait, wait. What happened to my writing, man? But something wrong with this one.
cool. Wait, wait, wait. Was it drawing something? Thing is wrong. Yeah, that's not an issue. Then we'll see that later. That's not a problem because I won't waste time. Yeah, this is this is what exactly the list of elements is given. Is it clear? Hello. So if yes, every, every time when you are inserting that a node into that a AVL tree, when you are inserting an element into the AVL tree, the basic thing is. Every node, the balancing factor should be that one or zero. So one or zero means the left height and right height. If you subtract it, the difference is that either zero or one is valid. That is what condition. Is it clear then? That's up to it. Basic fundamental rule. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. AVL tree is a binary set of tree. Remember, it's a binary set of tree. Whenever it's a binary set of tree, right descendants are greater than the root. left descendants are less than the root so based on it only we are trying to add the element so first we are trying to input that element 36 no problem then 36 40 came so 40 it's right side of the 36 so then 32 came it's a left side of 36 then 18 came 18 is left side of 32 any problem after adding 18 any balancing factor problem is there no sir no so that no problem because you know this 32 left is having one right is having zero so 1 minus 0 is one no problem this 36 is there left side you are having two right side you have one 2 minus 1 one, one no problem so that up to here no problem then after that 72 came 72 is added here after adding 72 also no issue is it right yes Any sir yes sir then after it we are adding 5 when you are adding 5 so where do you add 5 this this we are adding left of this 18 18 after adding this 5 so what happens is so let me erase this previous one this particular balancing factors we remove again we rebuild it so here the balancing factor of this one if you see that it's a 1 if you see the balancing factor of this what happened you know two is happened is it clear because left descendants are two right descendants are zero is it right yes sir yes sir yes sir now is it balanced no 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 so when it is not balanced so we try to balance 18 as a root 32 as a right and 5 as a left so if you want to yes, do sir. that kind of operation there are different rotations are there in the avl tree balancing So the first yes, rotation yes, is yes. yes. This is right Left rotation. rotation. Yeah, right sim rotation. simple, simple right rotation. Simple yes, right. right rotation. Okay. So after you doing it, what happens? You know, our tree will be changed in other way. That is, so let me arrange this. Eighteen is left. Eighteen yes. is left side will be five. Right side will be three. Yes, yes, yes. So the from this part it is going to be changed. So we are getting that eighteen. so here here it is 18 it's a left is there it's a 5 and right is there 32 32 is it clear okay. yes sir yes sir so then after it 5 is over now 35 came after adding this 35 here any problem is erased no sir no problem because you know balancing factors all of them are satisfied yes, so sir. after that 34 we are adding when you are adding 34 there is issue then there is a issue yeah yes there is issue for this particular 32 because right side depth if you compare it is a 2 so left side we have a 0 so the balancing factor is going for 2 so at this case what we do that two rotations we do 
first rotation is right rotation then left rotation yes once you do the right rotation what happens you know 36 uh, this 34 will become the root yeah 18 is as it is yeah 40 is and as it is yes 5 and 32 here it is as 32 it is. up to here is no problem then after no this is 34 then it is 35 so here one more rotation takes place that is right rotation yeah this is sorry left rotation so right rotation plus left rotation so then what happens you know after doing right rotation so you get that change in this change in this 34 will come as a root is it right yes sir yes sir 34 will come as a root so then we are getting it 32 as a left, 35 as a right. So then after that, yeah, that's all. I think yeah. it's a, most of them is balanced. Yeah. So sorry, yeah, yeah. 72 is missed. I, I forgot to go for that. 72 because it was added earlier itself. No issue about it. Yeah. So now the leaf nodes is 5, 32, 35 and 72. Over. Is it clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you so much. Yeah. So this is about it. And now this one, yeah. So this is Uffman coding. So basically, it is that the basic criteria of Uffman coding, which of them are going to be true. That's what they want to ask you is, which of them is true. So the first option, let me see that based on the conditions, whenever these conditions are satisfied, that's going to be Uffman code algorithm. Otherwise, the Uffman coding is going to be failed. Because that's not the rule of that Uffman coding. So let me see that. The first one is, yeah. In optimal Uffman tree, so we are constructing an Uffman tree. So basically, Uffman tree we are constructing to the bottom up. Of course, you know that. If leaf labeled X at a depth smaller than that leaf labeled Y, see the depth of the X from the root. Remember, depth of the x in the sense from the root from the root to reach that x is smaller than the leaf node of the y again y also the depth from the root from the root to reach that y how much depth is there then the frequency of the x is less than frequency of y so that means lowest frequency character or character set is having smaller depth and highest frequency depth is having higher length so higher depth so let, let me see that simple thing well, i don't want to draw that uh, a big tree so let's we have a root here we have a root here so we have like this this Huffman tree is constructed so this x is here for example And of course, here somebody else is there. I don't worry about this one. But the Y is somewhere else here. Y is located here. Here the frequency of X is there. Frequency of Y is there. So what the particular condition they said it is, if the depth of this particular X is smaller, means frequency of that X is smaller. Very simple. What I, what I want to tell you is, Whenever you are doing that Uffman coding, the basic condition is we try to sort the frequencies. First lowest frequencies we take, then we go to the top. Is it right? Yes, sir. So in this Y frequency will be less. No, yes, yes, yes. Because Y is a lesser value. X is a some higher value. That's the thing. Higher value is joining at top. When it's joining higher value at top, the depth is less. See, the depth of this one, if you see that, 2. The depth of the y, if you see that, 1, 2, 3. Because, you know, from the lower value, we are going to the top and there we are joining that higher frequency one. But the condition, what they said it is, you know, if the x particular depth is smaller, that means that the frequency of x is less. No, the frequency of x is higher. 
Yes, it is so false. that this condition is false. And the second one is Hoffman code algorithm always generates prefix code. Yes, always whenever it's a generating prefix code, it tries to check it that prefix code is not matched with any previous codes is generated. That's more important. So that's definitely a basic rule because, you know, whatever the particular frequency code is generated, it never matches with the previous generated codes. Anyway, we have that a lot of examples. We did it. So 0, 1, 1, 0, and then that frequency code, the prefix code is not matched to any of the prefix code of others. So that's complete code. What I meant to tell you is, so this is a true. So Huffman code algorithm is completely based on greedy approach. Yes, because we try to sort on frequencies. So lower frequencies, then we are trying to go for that higher frequency. Then we go to the higher that keep on going. So it's a greedy approach. Definitely it's a greedy. One of the problem is that using the greedy method is Huffman coding. So the right choices is this first one is wrong. Second and third is right. These two are right. This is what exactly is. And now we go for, yeah. Yeah, this is, this is, you know, common description, which is suitable for two questions, 12th question and 13th question. Yeah, let me understand the question first. Consider a problem scenario where a company has n number of jobs to be performed on a single machine see that processor is single processor it might be single processor it might be a single sewing machine even you can take it as a mechanical machine where it is creating a mechanical shape it might be a cmc machine the cmc machine it creates one particular shape that might be there that could be but one machine is there so one by one that takes that it performs that one by one that's make sure each job I has that time TI required to complete. Yeah, TI stands for uh, how much time it's required to complete. And deadline is there. So definitely the required time is there. So before the deadline, we try to finish up that. That's sure. Yeah, because, you know, it's time required is this, but definitely it should be finished by this deadline. Then only it is feasible. Otherwise, after the deadline, even you produce it also, maybe that particular product may not have demand in the market. Maybe such things. That's kind of, you know, real scenario. We'll think about it. Some jobs may complete even after the deadline. Yes, because, because we know that's a, only one mission is there so that one after another, it is going. Some of them may be reached that out of their deadline, but they produce it, but out of the deadline is reached. So the lateness of each job is I is defined. When it lateness is happened is if time of completion is greater than deadline of I. Yes, what deadline is fixed for the I, what time the job is finished, if that is bigger, then we are subtracting the time of completion minus deadline. So how much time is the late is happened? This year it is what is, you know, latency. So what you can say it is latency one latencies. So how much latencies? If time of completion is smaller than its deadline before its deadline, so then that there is no latency, simply zero. That's, that's, we don't have any kind of problem with that. So here, what happened is suppose ML is the maximum latencies of all, uh, yeah, all latencies, you know? So we, we are having L1, L2, L3 means maybe list of jobs is given. Each particular job is having its latency. So in that, we are trying to extract the maximum latency. What is the maximum latency? Yeah, that's what I yeah, understood that. Now, what's the next is there? Yeah. So here, manager goal is to minimize that this ML. So we are trying to minimize it. So considering the jobs, the job ID is given, time required, deadline. So time required means to complete this first job, we required four units of time, but it should be finished by the sixth unit of time. So four units of time. So this is two units of time it's required to complete it on the mission. One mission only is there. 
but it has to be finished by the seven o'clock. Let it be the six o'clock, seven o'clock, something like that. Okay, yeah. So now what they did is the question is what will be the minimum possible of ml of maximum lenses? So considering the start time of the pulse job is zero. Yeah. So we start that any selected job. First, you select any selected job, but the starting time of the job is zero. You, you can select any of them. So any particular approach for this, it is definitely greedy approach. Am I right? Sir, we can select the that job which requires the less time to finish. You are, you are trying to say that time required is less? Yes, yes, yes. Or uh, can we go with that one that is having uh, like deadline? Is or deadline. Like so let, let, let me try the two things. Time required based on it, we'll try. And deadline also we try it. So that let me sort based on the time required. Let we do the sort based on deadline. Is it okay? Yes, sir. So if, if you do the time required based on the sorting based on the time required. So if you do that sorting based on time required, what will be the first job as third job? Am I right? It will be executed. Yes, one. Yes. So 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 that uh, let me write the sequence actually. What way that sequence is going to be? Because we try to apply the first one. Actually, time required doesn't work. Definitely, I feel the deadline only works. Sorting based on deadline only works. But anyway, we'll try it. What is there? So here the first job is sorting based on the time required. See, don't worry. I'm writing one and eight. It is this job is selected and its deadline also I'm given. So next job, what is selected? Two things is there. I am trying to select that uh, either two and seven, or I can select two and five. You know, nothing problem. Two and seven, I can select because I'll go with uh, you know chronological order, like what they have been given. So after that, I can select that two and five. After that, I can select that um, yeah three and fourteen. Is it right? Then after it four and six. Okay, so then after it, 4 and 12, yeah, 4 and 12. So how many jobs? 6 jobs, yeah. So now, now let me see that what really happened, you know, uh, to complete this, uh, what really happened. So if we, because they already given the condition, the selected job, first job is considered, the first job is started, selected job starting time is 0. So if you start this particular job first, so 0 to 1 is used by first job. Is it right? Is it right? Yes. Is it right or not? Yes. So it's completed within the deadline. Is it right? Yes. So, yes, so, yes. so, 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 so that yes. latency is 0. Hmm. Yeah, am I right? Yes. So after that, this is started. So its starting time is what? Uh, because no. already was one to two, two. one to two, two, two to yeah. one. What is that? Two, from two, from, from two, two. Ah, from two mm. to three. Is it right? Because only two units, no? It two requires two units. Two yeah. units. So that mm. so that any particular latency has happened. Two to three, two. Any latency has happened? No, I think uh, no, sir. no, no. The no deadline was no. up to seven. No. No, no latency mm. because deadline is up to seven mm. is there. So after that, this is started four. So four to five. Is it right? Uh, two to five. It is six. So four to eleven. No, no. So no, no. It's it's a C C C. I I'm sorting based on the time required. So starting time is four. four to it's required time is four two years four and five. No. Time required is oh yes yes time required is two yes sir. Yeah, so that it's going to be latency zero. Fine. Then, then after it, then after it, it's time required it is two, so four to six, na? No, no. Two units. Four is starting time. Four and five. That's two units okay, are over. Okay, including four. Yes. Sir. Yeah, including four. So after that, this is starting time is six. From the six, six or seven, eight. So three units have completed. Is it right? Yes. It's a before deadline. Is it over? No. Yes, yes. It is given fourteen. So that it's going that. Why at six? So zero, can, zero. Sorry, why zero. at six? After we can start at five, isn't it? The activity. No, 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 no. 
no no that that never happens i think okay that never happens <laughs> so okay sorry 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 yeah because because you know completion is over then another stop is started it's not like uh, overlap is not uh, not overlap yes. but continuity is what i was thinking yes. okay anyway yes yeah so now after it after eight eight, eight time is over now this job is started this job requires that four units from eight four. so that nine nine ten eleven twelve is it right yeah now what happens you know latencies happen is it right Exceeded. what yes. is the latency you got difference hmm, we had six elders. so six latencies happened is it right hmm. is it right yeah so now still we continue because we want to see that uh, maybe deadline based on it we sort it and do it out what we get it but deadline is the right way but anyway we'll try this way also so after this year 13 to another three so that 16 13 14 15 16 is it right yes so what is the latency now four is it right yes yes for 12 khatamura 16 yes yes this is the latency we got it if it is uh, in this particular latency if you consider in this the minimum value we got is 4 is it right hmm. but 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 what we do is we try to sort based on deadline okay so whether you get the better definitely or by, based on deadline if you sort it we get a better value so remember this is what I, i'm i'm using uh, sorting based on deadline so if you sort based on deadline the first job is going to be that um, yeah based on the deadline oh, five. 2 and 5 2 and 5 2 and 5 so what i'll get it is so oh i'll draw this because maybe once i close it it's a issue then yeah. yeah, no problem because I'll draw this one because I can easily remember it. Yeah, first yeah. one is 2 and 5 because sorting based on deadline. Second one is 4 and 6. Is it right? Third one is 2 and 7. And the fourth one is 1 and 8. So then after it, 4 and 12. 4, 12, 3, 14. 3, 14. 3 and 14. Yeah, good. So now let me do that again, same job. So we started that always first job is from 0. The starting job is 0 to 2. So no latency because 5 before it is finished. Is it right? So that latency is 0. So after hmm. that, from the 3, we started 3, 4, 5, 6. Is it right? So yeah. that 3 to 6. Latency is 0. Zero. Okay. Now from the seven we started. Seven to eight. Yeah. Seven and eight. So seven and eight. So that it has to be finished that. Hmm. Six is no. Three to six. And then it is seven and eight. So what's the latency we got it? One. Yes. One. Yes, one. Because it has to be finished by seven, but we seven. finish it that later. Hmm. So hmm. after that we started here nine. Nine to nine. So only only nine. So that hmm. no problem. Here, here it is again one. Is it right? Yes. Latency. So after that from the nine, actually we started from ten. Ten to thirteen. Thirteen. So the latency, what do you get it? Again one. one. Again one. Clear. So after that we started from fourteen. 14, 15, 16. 15, 15, 16. 15. So we got 16. So what are the latency? Two. So this is the best value comparatively this particular value 6. Is it hmm. right? Maximum latency is 2 there. But yes. Hmm. Least possible maximum latency. Hmm. Is it right? Yes. So based on the deadline is a better job. So time required based on it is something, you know, it, it is not suited. St time required is definitely it's going to be, you know, somewhat uh, 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 not dependent value. Mm. So because once deadline is over, then only because the difference between deadline and time required, always we are trying to subtract it. We try to base sorting based on the deadline. Also. So that two 
Two is the right. Two is the right answer. So is it indicating that if we want to finish all the jobs, then maximum uh, two two latency. Two uh, means maximum two days will be exceeded. Yes. Like we can finish. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. Mm. Okay. So that is about this one. Uh, yeah. So based on this particular question, another question, another uh, question is there. Let me go over there. Yes. Thirteenth question also there. Now what is the thirteenth question? So which of the following greedy strategy would always work correctly for the calling problem? Yeah. See, th this is uh, what we discussed. The same thing. Deadline earlier. Yeah, yeah. Always choosing that first, whose required job is minimum doesn't work. Doesn't is it right? Work. Yes, this yes. doesn't work. We tried it. Always choose the first job whose deadline is earlier. So the sorting based on the deadline worked. Yes. So and next one is always choose the first job whose deadline is time required is minimum. No, it it is not right no. because that that yeah. never works. Then that never works. So that uh, the right option is B. Clear. Yeah. Yeah, this is uh, very straightforward. Uh, somebody wants to ask something. Uh, yes, sir. There is a question uh, from week six. Can I ask? Wait, wait, wait. First, let me finish up this quiz too. Huh? Okay. So this 14th question is straightforward. So hmm. what is NN the direct formula was given? No. NN minus 1 by 2. Yes. So mm. and then minus one by two, it is definitely if 20 is there, 20 to 19. So by two, that 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 uh, definitely it results in I think it's 190. I think one yeah, it's a direct question. Yeah. So th this is uh, you know median of medians. See, when do you use the median of medians? Is first basically it is used for fast, uh, you know, quick sell, quick sort. You know that. You know the quick start? Quick start. So yeah. some more fast you want to do that. Quick start, sometimes you have the poor performance because of bad selection of payment. Hmm, bad selection of payment. To improve there, yeah. it, we try to go for that uh, median of medians. Is it hmm, right? Normal. Yes, yes. So, yeah, somebody wants to ask something regarding this? Um, am I audible? Yes, yes, you are audible. Uh, so regarding the previous question of that half man coding, how the answer is to like I understood the process, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, that minimum of maximum of lateness, can you explain it again? Minimum of? Minimum of maximum lateness. So. Minimum of maximum is not there. What, uh, M -O -M, no? Uh, Mi previous question regarding that half man coding. Previous question is not half man. Yes, oh, sir, sir, this, not half man. This, yes. this is. Yes, yes, yes. Just can you walk through that, uh, you know, video because already it is streaming. Just okay. if you could look at, uh, because, you know, time we have to discuss still a lot of old questions is there. Because it's already streaming. Uh, just uh, you can see that mm, part which. I understood the process, but just what, okay. what is that uh, minimum of maximum? Minimum of max. Oh, okay, okay. That particular word, minimum of maximum. Yes. Clear, clear. Understood. Yeah. So this is what you know, this ML, what it will do is it is getting a list of values, something like V1, V2, V3, V4, something you get it. All these are going to extract one maximum value. Is it right? Is it right? Yes. So this max function, what it will do is it contains that various latencies. Sorry, I can say that. L1, L2, L3, L4. Is it right? Yes. Out of this, we get the maximum one. Is it clear? Okay. So we are getting a maximum value out of this. This maximum value, how can you minimize this as a manager of it? Okay. okay got it. For example, if I tried sorting based on this job time, we get that maximum value is 6. Is it right? Hmm, so, but if you tried sorting based on deadline, we get the maximum value 2, which is that minimized maximum. Is it clear? Yes, yes. 
so, so both of the strategy yeah fr- frankly he has applied the two greedy strategies greedy strategy means what at the current situation he tries the first way and he tries the second way also we choose that best way that's it over okay thank you clear okay okay fine thank you. yeah so yeah so this is uh, uh, median of medians so actually the quick select it has the worst case of uh, selecting the bad pivot element to avoid it always we go for that random pivot but random pivot also sometimes it will fail to avoid it we go for that mom so the mom strategy is pretty simple whenever a list of elements is there we try to select that median element but if sequence of elements is very large we try to make them blocks so actually in this function they have given it you know seven elements block but they, they can try it in five blocks actually even the professor lecture also you can see that five elements block but anyway no problem even seven elements blocks also not issue now let you see that what really happened the median value returned by this mom so what we'll do is we, we try to make that each of this list as five list of sorry seven list of elements for example if you consider this 9 7 13 4 and up to 5 is seven elements is it right is it right sorry i'll make it something six is less so that's better yeah so what i'll do is i'll try to do that first seven element sorting so because you know basically it takes that this particular list of elements if the list of elements is seven we sort them so otherwise we continue this however we continue this means what happens you know again we try to make it blocks first block is it seven elements more than yes it's seven elements more than no what we do is we try to sort that seven elements first so if you sort the first seven elements into the sorting order we get that sorry first set of seven elements is 3 it's very less oh, it's very bad mm. i'm making yes so first we are sorting the first seven set of elements that is 3 and 4 and 5 so then 7 9 10 and 13 up to here this block is finished so up to here is it right is it right is it right yes yes so th- then then another seven elements another seven elements means again we are getting another sorted list of elements another sorted list of elements is this that is 2 1 1 no no 1 2 sir okay okay i'm sorry yeah okay yes one is there from the list of this we have one so we can use the extension m10 actually wait wait, wait. More yes yes 1 2 6 12 is it right 8 is there 8 is there After six eight, after six eight is there. Okay, okay, yeah. After six, it's eight is there. Six eight is there. So twelve, thirteen, and nineteen. Yes, yes. Twelve, thirteen, and nineteen. Fifteen, nineteen. So after that, nineteen seven elements, no? Yes. Yeah, it's over. It's over. It's over. So after the nineteen again, we started this partition. From the fourteen, if we started three and three and this up to here, is it right? Yes. So then after it, what we do that we are sorting it is that fourteen. Fourteen double eighteen. Fourteen double eighteen. Yes. Twenty one, twenty three, twenty four. Twenty one. Twenty three, twenty four, and twenty five. Yes, twenty five. so that sorting job is done so laughter rate right? the last one is only that uh, you know uh, it's less than that uh, seven elements it's exactly six elements, six elements. Yes. 
so that six elements is 11 11 17 17 to 17 20 21 22 22 and 27 yeah so up to there is okay so whenever we, we are getting you know uh the less than the seven elements or equal to the seven elements up to partitions is okay the dividing job is done but conquer job is going on whatever the conquer job is here this is the conquer job so what the conquer job is here the conquer job is here so what the conquer job is here is uh we are trying to pick up that mean elements sorry median elements so if you could find out the median elements of this we try to extract at this place seven we are extracting is it right we are yes. extracting seven we are extracting at this place so we are extracting three and this and this eight is it right Yes, zero, one, two, three. That index three. Yes, yes. So then, after it, we are extracting 21. the medium. Medium element. It's a twenty-one. And then we are extracting this out of this because you know even it is integer division. It's doing again six, six, six element is there. It's also you are getting that uh, six uh, three third index one. Third index one is twenty. Is it right? Yes. Sir. so after these particular 7 8 21 and then 20 oh sorry that has to be sorted no because 20 is first then mm. 21 is next because every time sorting and then median yeah so what is the median element you are getting is 20 20 Yes, so second index question. Second index question. So that yes. we are getting the result is this. So the median of median. So that every time it's a guaranteed for selecting a a definite uh, good pivot element. That good pivot element will help you that fast uh, selection sort of. Uh, quick sort sort is there. Fastest sorting is there, which is better than that quick sort. Hmm. So this is this is why that uh, M O M we use it. Yeah, basically, uh, you know, it is a recursive method where it is divide and conquer policy, which will help you to that fix sort for the better performance to choose that good pivot element instead basically, of using. Hmm. Basically, it was to utilize that now that we had recursion in left and right, so that yes. we can have maximum elements in left and right, like yes, yes, elements. yes, yes. So every time we, we try the six remaining six elements. Hmm. So if the six elements is there, we are selecting the third element only. Because you are doing integer division. See, look at integer double division slash. only. Yeah. Double slash. The, actually, you can do the median in such a way, like you know, fourth and fifth, the sixth element is there. We try to add two adjacent elements and divide it by two. We do it. Is it right? Mm -hmm. But that is may not be there in the uh, quick sort list. Is it right? Ah, uh, may happen. So yeah. that that's the issue. That's the issue. We select that only that integer division element. That's it over. Clear? Okay. Whatever you calculated median for an even number of medians is there. At that time we do addition and then divided by two. Maybe that element may not be there in the uh, list of elements. Whenever that element is not there in the list of element, then what is the reason of pivot element? No use, no. Mm, so going with the floor will make sense. Exactly, exactly. Floor mm. makes sense. Mm -hmm. yes. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. This is about it. Uh, M O M. Select twenty uh, as pivot element, sir. Yes, yes, twenty. Because after getting that uh, five, four elements from the four subless, these four subless again, if you sort it, again if you sort it, so you get seven, fourteen, twenty, and twenty-one. So this particular elements is less than seven. So that four divided by two, you get two, no? Because it's integer division. It's doing this particular step is doing integer division. Is it right? Yes, sir. Yeah. So that four list of elements is seven, fourteen, twenty, and twenty-one sorted. So that so four integer division two we get two index position zero one two. So we get the result is this. So that answer is two twenty. Clear? Yeah. Good. Just give me one second. I'll switch off my power. My paper, my laptop is overcharged.
Okay. Sir, yeah. Sir, yeah. Sir, Hello. Sir. Yes, sir. You are audible. Yes, tell me. Someone wants to ask something. Hello. Uh, your voice is not audible actually. Hello, Rohini. Uh, I was asking about assignment 8 question 3 assignment 8 graded graded 8 question 3 wait 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 first let me finish up this after 16th question i'll go for that and at the same time i have some old questions is there after this last question is there no okay sir okay yeah yeah uh, this last question is it is the recurrence tree creation that is recurrence tree creation. There are two different uh, recursions are given. <laughs> 9 times n by 3 plus O of n and 4 times n by 4, that's O of n square. Yeah, cool. Uh, yeah. So this is a recurrence tree building. First, let me take the first expression. So first expression, if you consider that. So this is T1. Of course, T1 or Tn. So I'm taking the first expression. So let me take this first expression. So this is 9 times it is doing n by 2. So that what happened, you know, you are having that each particular divide job. I'm talk. I'm not talking about conquer. I'm talking about divide. So in this way, total 9 times is done. So in the every time, what happened, you know, t of n by 3 is executed. Is it right? Again, mm -hmm. t of n by 3 is executed. Yeah. Again, T of n by 3 is executed. Is it right? This job yeah. is done 9 times. But remember, every time there is a constant time of execution is there, O of n. This is O of n. Is it right? Hello? Mm, every time. So, that is, you know, constant time that input size based on it. You can say that Cn or O of n because it's a constant time, you know. So, at this time, what happened, you know? This nine childs are created because nine times nine recursions are called every time n by three partitions are done. So what really it is, you know, the cumulative time, if you consider this constant time, what we can say is, so this is uh, nine into uh, n by three. Can you call this one? Is it right? Sorry. Mm, for each. Yeah, n, n by three, n by three, sorry, mm. n by three. Because, you know, they said it is n by three. Mm -hmm. Is it right? Yes, Hello, sir. is it right? So that finally we can conclude this is 3n. Mm, Fine, branches. 3n, 3n, clear. So now let me go for the next level. When you go for next level, again this part is going to be divided into again 9 parts. n by 3 is divided into again 9 parts. Is it right? Mm, again so again 9 parts means what happens, you know, you, you are getting it as, so n by 9, is it right? Mm, t of n by 9. Mm. T of n by 9. Is it right? Yes. So if you consider this 9 times, so what is the cumulative of this one? Uh, for each 9, nine into n mm. by 9, mm. and we have n. Uh, 9 times. 9 because, times also. Yeah. For each n by 3. Mm. Yes, mm. Yes. So it should be 9 into 9 into n by 9. Yes. So that 81 into. N by 9? N by 9, yes. Mm. Yes. Is it right? Yes. Is it right or wrong? Right. So that it, it you can say that finally if you can short wise this one, so that we can say that it is a 9N, we can say this one? 9N, yes. My question is, this N to 3N, 3N to 9N, is it increasing or decreasing? For every sub-level you are going. Increasing. Is it increasing? Yes, sir. Yes. And three and so nine. then we go for that recursion tree. There are three cases is there. Equality condition when you go for the divide job, there is a decreasing job is done. There is an increasing job is done. The constant time is increased. The constant time is decreased. The constant time is equal. So let me go for that, you know, pre, you know, earlier notes, which you see that, uh, that uh, week number eight, yes, the recursion trees. Yeah. Look at this one. Yeah, this part. Yeah, good. Here it is. 
See, the series grows exponentially. The series grows exponentially. Mm-hmm. Each term constant factor is larger than the previous term. The previous term is there comparatively. It is going that the previous term. It is a larger than the previous term. Previously mm-hmm. n was there, so then it is going for three n. Three n was there, it's going to that nine n, so that it's cut. It's going to increase it. So wh- whenever it's increasing that, so definitely you, if you have been going this one, you know of that. Uh, log uh, c and r don't worry about c and r here c is uh, you know uh, the particular uh, uh, input you are giving 9 and uh, uh, constant constant is 3 they have given i think so three. yeah 3 3 3 yes. three, three mm-hmm. well mm-hmm. and 9 times is the recursion they have given if you have been converted that my particular pen is slow yeah it's a wo of uh, log 9 uh, base 3 yes 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 Wait, something is delayed. Yeah, I don't think it is. Here is a better thing to write. Yeah. So here it is. We we'll try to write it here. So that is the thing from where the formula has been derived. That yes, right? yes, yes, yes. Okay. There it is. You are getting, you know, the final values. So we we are getting w of. Uh, so that is n log. cr power i think n yeah, power pa- log. yeah 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 n power n power log cr is it right yeah n power log cr is it right yeah. so in this case what is my c value 3 9 times 3 3 3 oh r, r is that 9 times yes yes so if if you do that you know n log power 3 and then 9 so which you can write it w of n square can you write this one simple so yes. so so that this particular case is satisfying this option first particular expression is satisfying that w of n square clear yes now let you see the second one we try the second one second one whether it is increasing or decreasing or whether it is going to be the equal so let me try this one second one so we try to erase this and we try to use the second expression the second expression is what it is you know it is uh, four times that n by 4 yes four times it is n by yeah it is the expression is simple now this expression is Four times n by four. Yeah, it is t of that n we are taking. That it's going that four times. It's four times. It's n by four. Of course, t is there. So you are having t of n by four. So it keep going there. So this is that constant time of n square. So it's already given that w of n square. So when it's coming here. when it's coming here it's a four times n square n, n square uh, n squ- four four times n yeah four times n, n by 16 16. n by 16 is right hmm. hello four times n by 16 is clear is it right yes. hello four times n by 16 hello yeah n by 16 so which you can write it that n square by 4 Yes, yes. Is it right? Yes. Remember, here it is no denominator is there. Here denominator is there four. Hmm. So now again we'll try that another level. So another level, if you try it, n by four it goes to the another four. So that n by sixteen, n by sixteen, n by sixteen. You're right then. Yes. So if going that sixteen times n by 16 is it right is it right hmm. so then finally we can say that n square by 16 is it right then 16 that is n by 16 square is yes yes n by 16 yes yes n by 16 square because you know right. that's right that's right okay. so that n square by 16 hmm. 
here the denominator is increasing whenever denominator is increasing the value is decreased am i right then yes the numerator n square initially it's higher value so when it is divided by 4 it is decreased when it is divided by 16 it is decreasing whenever decreasing again you see the summary yes yes so it is straight forward so whenever root dominates the sum the root dominates the sum then we take that root only sir sorry the root dominates sum whenever decreasing is there root is going to dominate that sub problems yes so that what is my root here n square so that we consider this n square is that this is going to dominate this is dominating root is dominating this is dominant so we don't consider that subordinates the divide jobs we don't consider we take the root one only so that second expression also it is n square so that both expressions is going to be that n square equal to yeah please that is what you know the divide job which you do that if you do the two levels you will get it you know whether that complexity of constant time is increasing or decreasing based on it you can easily find out the recurrence relation simple how many times it is doing each level how much expansion is going and then that particular constant time is increasing or decreasing or not we can check yeah somebody wants to ask it in the 6th week hello yes sir yes sir uh, in 6th week question mm -hmm. number 7 of graded assignments graded assignment <laughs> Question was easy, but uh, the an uh, option answer was little confusing. Question number seven. Yes, 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 it is. So, which of the following will correctly represent the max heap after inserting the elements one, two, three, five, seven, six, and four in the given order? According to Start. me, it should be option B, but uh, wait, the correct wait, wait. answer. Wait, wait, wait. Let me let me let me check it. What really happened? What really happened is, so it's a max heap. Max heap condition is, so every time the root must be greater than its left and right descendants. There is no condition that left should be less than, right should be greater than. Such condition is not there. Only the condition is, root must be greater than its left and right descendants. That's it. The condition. so based on it we try to insert the elements so uh, yeah starting with the empty heap no issues no empty empty heap is there so first we try to insert one something there is a delay yeah one is inserted maybe there is a delay in my particular writing yeah just a moment pen has a problem mm -hmm. <clears throat> so first first one is there mm. there is a problem wait a just what i'll open reload this one <sighs> Week six graded assignment question number seven. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Here we try to draw this. Yeah. What happened? Something wrong with this one. So first one, hello, am I audible? Yes, yes, sir. Okay, first one. So then after it, two is added. Whenever two is added, it, it is not uh, you know uh, smaller than this one. so whenever it's not smaller than this one so that it's going to be that 
two and one is going to be the two is going to be the root and one is going to be the left. Am I right then? Yes, yes. So after the three is inserted, three is inserted again. That uh, my particular pen is a problem or what? Just to be where can I move that? Wait. There is issue. Okay. Oh, this is default. Just let me restart my machine. Please don't go away. Just I'll restart it. Okay. Maybe. Yes. Sorry, there might be a technical issue. Hope I am visible. And then I want to share my screen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we are trying to go for the sixth week. 
ग्रेड सेवेंथ क्वेश्चन Yeah, this is. Yeah, uh, see, look at the list of elements was given. So first, we are trying to insert the one. Hello, yeah, am I audible? Yes. 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 Is my screen visible? Yes. Ah, yes. uh, see, look at. so maxip condition is that root must be greater than its left and right descendants so first we are trying to insert one something there was issue okay that's not a problem we try to use some other editor this stuff work is better so first we try to insert it uh, uh, the value which is uh, 1 so then we are trying to insert the 2 so once we inserted 2 is it a right location no so then what should i do we have to swap the uh, elements so swap the elements means that uh, root and right and root and left is going to be swapped so that 2 is going to be here Yes. so then that left is going to be one okay so then after the three is arrived after the three is arrived where should i add it after the two is it has to be added no right 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 of, right of this so three is this condition is satisfied of the maxip no so definitely swapping is done so once swapping is done what happens you know three is here one is here two is here is it right up to it is it clear yes now my question is is there any condition left must be less than the right right must be greater than the left is it any condition is there in the maxip no sir no. no condition only condition is root must be greater than its left and right descendants maybe left and right descendants maybe they are in different order we don't know left might be greater than the right right might be greater than the left it might be there so next value what is there is 5 So five is inserted as a left descendant of one. Is it right? Because as per index positions, is it right? Is it right? Yes. Because you know this is zero, this is one, this is two. Again, once left, we are adding. Is it right? Yes. Hello. We are adding the left. Yes. So yeah, once you added left, is the condition is satisfied? No, the child is smaller. So definitely swapped. So once it is swapped, we are getting. Three. Sorry, we are getting three. Why it is three? I'm sorry, something is a problem with my this pen. Yeah. Three and then after it, we are having five here because you know it is swapped. So one is here and then two is here. Is it right? Is it right? Uh, no, sir. Five is. Three. Wait, 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 wait. Let me check it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So three, it's okay. Then it is five. Okay. No, no. Still, it is one more swapping mm. is done. Yes, I, I, I'm talking about that. So hmm. one more swapping is required. One more swapping is then five is coming as a root. So then that three is left, two is right. So then we are getting one as a left for the three. Up to here is fine. Is it right? Hmm, fine. So then seven came. So seven came means it's immediately inserted here first. Hmm. So after that, what happened? You know, again swapping job is done. One swapping job is done. Seven in three is going to be swapped. Is it right? Yes. Then this seven and five is going to be swapped. Similar lines. Okay. 
Yes, sir. So that seven is going to the first. Then its left is five. Right is two. Right is two. Then five's left is one as it is. No yes. change in this. Three. Five's right is three. Okay. So now that next element is six. Sir. So when it's coming to the six, it's going to be inserted at left of this particular one. So that six. So this two left is going to be six. No problem. Then four came. So four where it is inserted? It's we, going we, to be the. We have problem now, no, sir. Six wait, wait. Yes, yes, yes. Sorry, sorry. Exactly. Again, the six is greater than it, so that we have to change it. So we have to stop it and there. Yeah. So now again, swapping is done. So swapping is done. So that seven. So we have a five, we have a six here, and then this particular one and three is as it is. No change in this. The six left is going to be the two. Is it right? Yes, sir. And the last value we are getting is four. So that four is here. So once we got the four, the condition is satisfied. No issues about this. Yes. Is it right? Now the particular final max EPs is it matching? That is seven, five, six, yes. one, one, three, two, four. So simple. So we will get it the same list of elements. Seven, five, seven, five. So seven, five is matching for two options. Oh, then six three. is okay. Then one is okay. One after the two is considered, but three is the right three. choice. So three is first the right option. choice. Three. Yeah, first option is the right choice. Hope you got it. Uh, yes, I got it, sir. But uh, by insertion method, uh, option one, uh, option A answer will be correct. Mm -hmm. But by hippie five, hippie five method, mm -hmm. it will be um, like uh, one is the root element, and the left and right uh, leaf was uh, uh, leaf will be two and three, mm -hmm. and two's leaf will be five and seven, mm -hmm. and uh, three's leaf will be six and four. But index positions makes a difference, no? For example, i is a root. Yes. i is a root. So what is that left descendant of i and what is the right descendant of i based on the index position? For example, this is a zero. Root is zero. So what is the left index? Uh, root is zero. What is the left? Uh, 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 so, so there is a standard formula. The right the of right the yeah, okay. left and right. There is a standard formula. How to get the left and right? First left. How to get it left? Left of i. How? I two plus two one. Two, two into i. Two into i. Two into i. Is it right? Hello. Yeah, yes. Two into i or what? So if that is zero, so it's left descendant what? Two into i plus one. I think so. Yes, sir. Two, two into i plus two into i plus one. Is it right? Yes, sir. So, what is the right descendant? How do you get it? Two i. No, two i plus two. Yes, plus two. So, based on the condition, this particular second option is not satisfied because if the tree is constructed like this, all these two conditions are satisfied. For example, seven, seven's left is if seven is zero, this index position is one. This index position is two. Is it right? Hello. If you construct like this, this is not matching to a tree, and it's not matching to the left and right descendants condition. Two into i plus one and two into i plus two. Is it right? Yes. That condition is not matching. If you construct the three is after and two is before, it it doesn't it doesn't create a problem. Yes, definitely it creates a problem because if you consider reversing, reversing means what? Two will come no. as descendant to the five. No, this ah. uh, uh, if if we uh, do it by hippify method, ah. no. the tree will be uh, different from this yes. tree. Yes, yes, yes. Hippify method exclusively if they will give it, then it is a different. But thing is, they directly given straightforward max heap. They did not tell you that you know use it exclusively hippify method. So such particular condition is not given, no. Yes, but. Uh, by both the method, uh, method answer should be same, no? No, no, it it, it doesn't uh, same. I think so because uh, th there is a because difference. There is not mentioned that uh, how to solve by hippie by method or by insertion method. 
Uh, but the thing, see, I've got a question here, but the thing here is, right, when we add 1, 2, 3, and 5, mm. so we are adding things in a, an increasing order. So if we add it, right, it will bubble up and we'll have only one kind of thing, right? So 5, left side is 3, left side is 2, left side is 1, or uh, uh, will that change? At, I don't think that the CP5 method also will generate. If if the CP5 method just try it with by CP5 by, method by the same method, the all the above uh, question is uh, correct. By the same method, CP5, but only the question number seven no. is given. No, no, I, I'm thinking about that. If, if you are using CP5 method, you are getting the second option. Am right? Second option. Yes, 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 correct. So if you are getting second option, why the first option is different? If the same result has to be get it, no. Uh. That's what the question. Maybe, uh, maybe something you know. I'll, I'll, uh, you try directly post it this one the discourse. Maybe oh. in the grading point we'll have some kind of uh, recheck and then clear. Okay. Please don't forget it. Post it. Huh? Okay. Okay. Grade assignment six and question number seven. Okay. Okay, okay. then. I have a question here. Mm -hmm. So both of them are supposed to give the same uh, sequence. Yes. Or? Yes. Same sequence. Same sequence. Actually, they have to give the same sequence. Even you are using that, uh, you know, insertion method and this. Clear? Okay. Yeah. Hello, sir. Yeah, yeah, tell me. Sir, a graded assignment 8, sir. 4 no. and 5. Questions. Okay, okay, okay. 8. We are going that graded assignment. 8. Yes. This is again, you know, uh, we are trying to divide this one is a recursion tree. It's a n by 3 and the 2n by 3. And this is n by 9 and 2n by 9. Okay, okay. So which of the following options describes the recursion relation which will give? See, look at here. Sir, fourth one is clear, sir. But fifth one, how to solve this recursion wait, wait. relation? Fourth one is clear. Fourth one is clear, but solving the relation is fifth one is. So if O of n is the upper bound of the above recursion, so what will be the value of f of n? Wait, 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 wait. So in this case, question is where is that recursion? In the above recursion problem, it's n by three. It's often that hence that a and d are correct. Option A and D are correct. The feedback that was given. But here, upper bound of the above recursion relation. There are two different uh, recursions is given. No? Which recursion is then? Upper bound for the above recursion relation. Which recursion relation? That's what my question is. Both are same only, sir. N by 2. T of n by 3, 2 of the 10 by 3. Yes, both are same. 2n and uh, same. yes, yeah. both are same. Both are same. So if that upper bound is given instead of that O of n and 2n, they have given f of n. Mm -hmm. O of f of n is the upper bound of that. What's the value of f of n? Mm -hmm. Similar value of that upper bound, what's value of it? We have to sort out it. It's, I think, it's equal to that, uh, that's n square, I think so, because you know, mm, this particular, this particular, you know, n by 3 and uh, n by 3 and 2n by 3. See, you can, your n is going to be divided into. Uh, Two kinds of recursions. Is it right? The first one is n by 3. Next one is 2n by 3. Is it right? This way it is going. Again, it's going that, you know, it's going for that uh, n by 9 and it's going for that next level. Is it right? So in that way it's going. So the upper bound of the above recursion is of that O of f of n. What is the value of it? If O of that f of n is the upper bound of that recurse relation so because it is two different recursions 
uh, which are different kind of uh, partitions. It's a two into n by three. It's n by three. Mm. Two times it is again two n two n by three. But first time it is n by three. Next time two n by three. Uh, what really this? Instead of this o of n, they try to do that f of n. Or instead of this two n, they are trying to do that o of f of n. I think. I think it requires some time. Fifth one, fourth one is easy, but fifth one. Where should I replace this particular f of n? That's what the thing. My question is: this o of f of n. Where should I replace? Is it instead of this particular one? I think it is same. No, I think n square. I think if it is that plus o of n, that means constant n. No, is o of n nothing but c n? Is it right? Constant n. Yes. So whenever if it is constant n, uh, the particular flow is increasing or decreasing. We see that if this is if this is o of n, clear. When it's going for next level, what happens? That again, it is going for one level. N by three is going for one level or two levels. It's going for one level or two levels. It's going for one level, no? Two n by three is going for one level. N by three is going for one level. Is it right? N by three is going for two levels. Yes. N by nine. Two, two n, n by nine. Two n by nine. Yes, yes. N by nine. No, it will be four by nine. It will be four by nine on the yes, right. Yes, yeah, n by n by nine is right. Then you get uh, one. It will be four, four, four by nine. Four, four n by, by nine. Four n by nine. Four n by nine. Yes, four n by so nine. In this case, what happens then? In this case, what happens then? Again, two levels. Again, two levels. So yes. what it is going again? Two n by nine and uh, yes, four first, n by nine. Yes, first first one is two n by nine. And Sorry, second one will be four yes, four, four, n four n by nine. This is four n by nine. This is four n by nine. This is n by nine. Is it right? Two n by nine. Under yeah, four, four, four. It's a two square. Four. Yeah, right. Four, four n by nine. Four n by nine. Hello. Wait, wait, wait. What happened? Sir, it's given above. One will be two by two n by nine, and the other one will be four by nine. Four n by yes. nine. Yes, yes, yes. One, one will, will be two be... by nine. The first n by one. nine. N by n by nine. Will be two by nine. Two n by nine. Left hand side. Left hand side will be two, two n, n by nine. nine sir. And two uh, n by nine. Uh, and the right hand side will be four n by nine. Ah, so okay. So then, what is the constant time here? What is the constant time here? Tell me then. What is the constant time here? It is o of n. What is the constant time here? So right hand side will be four n by nine. Okay, okay. What is there? Okay, you want to do that for right hand side is four n by nine. Okay, okay. It's a two n by nine and four n by nine. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. It's a four n by nine. Okay. So what is the yeah. constant time here in this case? Hmm. So n by three and two n by three. What is the constant time here? Yeah, tell me what is that? Simple these two. I didn't n. understand constant. This particular n by three and three n two n by three. What is the particular constant time here at this place? N. It will be n. No? N by three and two n by three will uh, be. What, what is that? It will n be n. It will be n. It will be n, no? Yes, n. Yes. Okay. So next one, when you go for this level, this level, this level. Four and four, eight and three. Eleven by nine. It will. Eleven by eleven and by nine. Eleven n by nine. Eleven eleven n by nine, sure. Yes. Ah, huh, if you add all the four. Hmm. So what is that? Eleven n by nine. Eleven n by nine. Hmm. So now my question so is: Is it increasing? Is it increasing or decreasing? 
it is decreasing it is decreasing whenever it's decreasing no no even in by decreasing it is in three should be two by nine is in by three should be two and by nine two and by nine ah two this is two and by nine by three n by three shouldn't it be two n by nine the right side of n by three right side of the n by 3 is 2n by 9 2n by 9 okay 2n by, by no here then it will n by 9 and 2n by 9 so n n by 9 and 2n no, no, no. by 9 no um no and the left level no, no. can, can you tell right, me first level right side second, second level sir second right level of n by 3 see, please 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 one of you please tell me First second level, please. Level. First, first level is okay. Now, what fan is right? Yes, third second, level, sir. Third, third level. third level, please tell me. Second level is no problem. Right N. side of n by wait, wait. Three. This is two. N is correct. Okay. So this is what tell me. Right side N. of. Right N side of. N so this is what. Right side of no. Right side of n by three should be two n by nine. Two n by nine. Okay. Two yeah. n by. This is two n by right nine. Side. Right, right side of n by no, not there, sir. Yes, ah, yes. there. That yes. will be two n by nine. Two n by nine. Clear. Yes. Two then n it will be n only. Two n by nine. So then also n. Then also it will be same. So that anything increasing or decreasing? No, it is same. Yeah, it is same. It so is. then then they go for the summary. So our summary is very clear. In this particular summary, eighth week. So there is equality. There is increasing. There is a similarity. So let me go for this eighth one divide and conquer recursion trees. We have the yeah equal condition. So whenever equal condition is automatically it is equal to log n. Log simple. N. So that right answer is log n. The first A option over. Simple. Clear. Um, no sir, the answer is n log n. Sir, n uh, n log n. According to the answer, n log n. Yes. I think I don't know. That's why it is. It's a log n day because uh, asymptotically it is equal to that because c can be ignored constant factor, so that log n is same. Hmm, maybe I think some particular you try to post it this one because the graded assignment no. So uh, I think it's not. Uh, it cannot be posted in the discourse because anyway deadline is over. No, yes you can post it. Not issue. One doubt. So that is f of n into log n means n into log n only. No? Answer. f of n if it is equal hmm. f of n into log n f of n into log n okay so f of n is in n n yes 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 that's that's a, that's a point we missed it here f of n means n no so the right answer is log n and then n next log n log n yes <laughs> why the b answer because you know we already got that f of n is n So that is due to that uh, similarity we got log n. So that we got the right option is B. Yes, yes. Hope you got it. Yes. Sir. Hello. Thank you, sir. Okay. okay. Uh, sir, can we get uh, solve this uh, recurrence uh, using master method? Like. No, actually, method? actually, actually, I, I have to look at that master method once again because I am not very confident on this. That's the thing. Uh, again, I am trying to make it a balancing of it. Okay. Okay. Using master method, it is not giving the correct answer. No, no. He actually, I am not following the master method. Basically, I use that whatever you know, the derivation part which used in the summary. Same thing, I'll use it. I don't use master method, okay? Because it's a divide and conquer method. Mm -hmm. Eighth week is totally so that we do the divide and conquer only and equal levels. We try to find out the constant factor, either increasing or decreasing or equal. That's it. Okay. I don't use master method. Clear because of the divide and conquer. That's only thing. Mm. Okay then. Yeah. So uh, in this. Mm. Uh, uh, mm. Assignment eight again. I okay. wanted uh, this question number three. If mm. we can do it. Okay. Okay. Question it is similar, three. but uh, yeah, it will be better if we do it. If you use divided problem, that is four yes. problems. The size of n by two. The number of steps required to combine the solution is fifteen. So constant time is fifteen. Mm. So it is four sub problems. So that is n by two. 
15 using some optimization. So what will be the nearest upper bound of this algorithm? Nearest upper bound is, you know, it is n, n by 2, four different sub problems. So that if you take that n, so we try to divide into that four sub problems. So that four n by 2s we are doing n by 2s 4 n by 2s 4 n by 2s 4 okay so that it is at this level we are getting so what we are getting the constant time actually they have given you know uh, they try to combine with the uh, solutions with 15 uh, steps required to combine is 15 they got a constant time is 15 of course it is cn the constant time is 15 that's okay we don't worry about it so at this time what is the particular constant time at this place four different sub problems each of them is n by 2 hmm. how much constant time is 15 it is saying at this at this time it is 15 no 15, all the time yes. it's not 15 at this time hmm. what is this n it by 2 15. n by 2 hmm. 2n 2n is it right Hello. Uh, what is two n? The problem itself has two n. No, no. So this particular level, what is the particular total cumulative? That's what I'm asking. At this okay. level. Hello. Mm. What is it? Yes, it will be. No, if we add all the n by two, it will be two n. Two n. Okay, then. Mm. Then. So again, we are going for next level. If this level we are going, another four is going to be then. So let me investigate whether it is increasing or decreasing. So at this time, so what could n be the by by four. Yes, n by four. So it's similar four. way, it's going for n by four. So similar way, it's going for that four times. You know, each one is n by four. So what is this? Four n. This four n. Like four n. Mm -hmm. yes, this Here, this n is going to be increasing. Yes. So n, 2n, 4n, then it's going for the next one. Clear? Yes. So when it is increasing, so what could be then? When it is increasing, it mm. is in power log rc. n to the power log cr. So that what happens then? Definitely it's going to be n square. I think answer also n square. I think so. What could be the answer? Yeah, it is n square. Yes, see, look at. So they have given directly, you know, O of that log 2 and then it is 4. So n to the power of log 2, 4, did you find it as last line? Or yes, yes. Yes, this place. So that it's yes. n square. Simple. N to the power yes. 2. Okay. 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 Yeah. Okay. So I have another set of questions, which is uh, old questions of it. We try to go for it because if you miss it, uh, maybe again, you cannot recollect it. The, the concepts of seven and eight weeks. Yeah. This is one question. So which is basically on the binary search tree. Of course, it is binary tree also we can say or binary search tree. So here they have given alphabetical things uh, that each mm -hmm. node is given with alphabets. Yes. The question is, what is the Predecessor node in terms of the value m. Predecessor node in the sense, uh, we need to find out that in order traversal of the tree, in the in order traversal, in order, I'm yes. talking about in order. So in order means what really, you know, wait. wait. Increasing order. Hmm. Increasing order. In order traversal is, wait, wait, wait. Huh? My, my pen is going then. Wait. In order this uh, root left. Yeah, first left root, then right. This is in order. See the order of traversal is first left, then root. Process the root element, then, right. then the right element. Is it clear? Yes. So if in this case, if you go, A is not processed first. B is not processed. D is not processed because these are roots. H is processed because it is alone. Is it right? Yes. So that H is processed. Over. Once left is over, 
then it tries to process that root so what is the root of this d sorry h, h d. d so d is processed okay. after d is processed write it goes but write is again root to somebody is it right yes so again it's going for left so once it's going for left so what is processed oh o is processed so o is processed so left is processed o after left is processed the root is processed so that i is processed after i is processed right is processed so right is alone so that p is processed so that all lefts of b is finished is it right yes sir left yes b is a root all left descendants of b is finished is it right mm. yes then we can we the process control. b yes we yes. will get the control and we will process right now yes b is processed after going for e but e is not processed because e is having descendants j so that left is processed so that j is processed after the j is processed root is processed so that e because left and root after that right is processed now we are sure all descendants of the left descendants of a is processed is a. it right yes then can we process a yes 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 we can process a then lefts are over root is over then we are coming to the right in the right c is a root so we don't process it we go to the left but f is a root we don't process it we do later we process l so that l is processed first yeah, because yes. it's a left after left is processed l is processed so then the root is processed so f is processed after f there is no right so it's over so all left descendants of c is processed so then c is processed after c is processed we go to the z but g is not individual it is having a left descendant m is processed after m is processed the root of the m is processed that's a z after g is processed the final right is processed is m now the question is what is the predecessor node see look at predecessor node that means before m before m mm -hmm. of mm -hmm. of the pre predecessor of the m which is going to the c the answer is c See. who is processed before m it's it's a c as per the in order traverse clear so if no yeah. no order specific is specified then we go for in order is it no no predecessor node it will come in that in order only definitely okay. predecessor predecessor order if they give it it is a in order traversal only mm -hmm. because in order yeah in order traversal is it's always you know root is processed in the middle of left and right that's the thing we try to pick up this one okay oh is there a similar terminology for uh, yeah, pre and post yeah pre and post also it is i think there is a uh, predecessor uh, you know like uh, you know something you know i don't remember it but actually something is there you know the next node what it's called in the case of post order in the case of uh, uh, pre order so what it's called you know there there is a particular terminology i think i don't remember so pretty much that if if i exclusively walk into this particular uh, binary trees uh, complete unit then i can okay yeah this is the code is given if they ask uh, successor node means yeah yeah that's good yeah. it's given. a good term sir successor node successor node is there predecessor is the previous one successor is the next one yeah that's good term thank you so but for that also in order it is in order only hello hello that is for in order only yes yes successor also you can use it for in order uh, actually in the in order only we use the predecessor and successor so actually other orders uh, i don't think it is there is uh, no predecessor and uh, this one we don't try uh, i think so because you know um, uh, maybe i don't know why it is but actually i have to look at more things in that but successor is the right term successor is the next uh, element of the current uh, element that's a success yes okay. yeah oh, what is this interval left right yeah it so it is order. it is what kind of order of traversal is going on it's a post order yeah it is very clear yes. see first left is traversed then right is traversed then root is processed so that what happens you know first uh, this left is processed then this left is processed 
then this right is processed sorry uh, left is over so all lefts are over then root is processed no rights are there no rights are there so that it is so left is processed right is processed root is processed so this is left this is left this is right and this is root in this way it goes is it clear so this a is not processed a is processed in the last after completion of the complete right tree then you are going to process the root one so that it's called you know post post order so now let you see that what is the order is going to be printed because they asked you that order which of the following order will be printed in the code snippet if you consider this first d is printed d uh, then h h e e is printed d, then b but uh, a is not printed e c I, is not printed f is not printed i is printed then f uh, then g, f because no right root is printed g then g c is not printed g is printed then, then c then a, then a. that is yes. what post order mm. so that's a post order traversal yeah this is so the complexity of this you know above given function see the given function is traversal function it takes the t as a parameter if you could see that actually it is is it visible that t is taking as a parameter yes sir okay, okay. root mm -hmm. yeah root t is nothing but the root so this function what it will do is it tries to traverse that all number of nodes so like n number of nodes is there means n number of nodes it tries to visit it yes sir. so now w of n log n whether the tree is balanced or unbalanced so actually that will not create uh, difference yeah right? balancing and unbalancing is not the job of this because that's a job of that avl tree yes we have to visit every node yes the avl tree benefit is the searching performance is improved insertion performance is improved deletion performance is improved is it right yes sir but thing is here this function is exclusively what function is given that is exclusively traversing so the traversing means it is visiting each node at least once is it right yes so visiting each node at least once means you need to visit all the vertices all right. the nodes yes. so that whether it's a balanced or unbalanced so it is trying to visit all the nodes in the tree so that definitely it's a o of n is it clear yes sir there is no reducing of the complexity there is no improving of good particular performance in the case of searching and particular deletion if it is avl tree that's a different if it is unbalanced it is a different like left skewed tree is there right skewed tree is there whenever left skew and right skew is there searching complexity is of n only it cannot be improved if it is balanced tree the searching complexity is improved is it right Yes. So, because you know the log n, we can reduce that from n to log n. You can reduce it whenever yeah. it's balanced. But yeah. it's not concerned to this particular uh, function. Yeah. This function yeah. is traversing function, visiting all vertices at least once. Yeah. So this is. So some of the criteria given for the characteristics of binary search tree, basically. So whenever these characteristics are satisfied or not, which of the characteristics are satisfied? to the binder search tree yeah look at which of them is true so the number of uh, elements in the uh, tree is the number of elements in the tree is at H, least H, no no, no at, at, least at, at most at, at least, least at most h is not right yes at, at least at least h, at least h is right so it's not right sir but because it's a binary tree remember 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 it's a it's a binary search tree what you can say that binary tree or binary search tree height we are considering whenever zero nodes are there zero nodes are there height is zero is it clear mm. please consider this one yes okay so whenever particular no nodes is there the height of this one is zero so mm. height if you consider one so definitely one node is there is it right no possibility of having two nodes here is it right hello 
Am I in the call? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So, for example, the height is reached to 2. Clear? So, that means there is a possibility. There is a possibility. So, the number of nodes, either at least, but at most is different. So, you can have that another 2 nodes, or you might have that at least one node. Is it right? Hello? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So that is what at least they asked it. They did not ask you at most. If it is at most, it's a different. They asked you that at least. For example, a left skewed tree is there. See, it's going like this. Mm. Currently, the height is increasing. Is it right? Mm. Mm. One, two, three. So that at least three is guaranteed. Maybe more is different, but three is guaranteed. Is it right? Yes, sir. So that B, yes, option, B option is right. So now the C option. C option is the number of uh, elements in the tree. At least 2H is, you know, it is least is not. And least is already, we have decided at uh, B itself. C mm. is not right. Now, at most we are going. This is at most. H at most is the maximum. One. 2 into H minus 1. Yes. So 2 into that H is minus right. 1 is right. That is right. For example, mm. you have taken that height is 3. So you have a mm. chance of making at most is this. So like this. Mm. So you have something like this. You have something like this. So it could be then one more. So how many nodes is there? 7. So the mm. level is what? Eight 3. Minus one. Height is 3, no? Mm. So that 2 cube minus 1. That is 2 to the power of H into H minus 1. Sorry, H minus 1. So what do you get it is uh, 7. Is it right? 7, yes. Over. So this is right. At most, at most is the maximum limit. Not yes. more than that. So the number of elements. Yeah, this is already over. So that uh, E option is wrong. B is right. D is right. So now we go for the last one. So in a binary search tree, the number of nodes with 0 childs are N0. The number of nodes with two child is n2 then n2 is nothing but sorry n not n0 is nothing but n2 plus 1 so le let me draw this one simple way uh, we have that n0 and this one so a tree with a tree with uh, this means there are no nodes with one uh, child uh, yes so right now so this particular, the number of nodes with zero children, zero children is nothing but leaves. What do you call this? Leaves. leaves. Yes. Okay. Yes, okay. Leaves. So we, we are having like this. So in this case, if you consider this one and two is going to be leaves. Is it right? Is yes, it right sir. then? Yes, sir. Leaves. So N zero is nothing but two. two. So the number of nodes with two children is this one so that it's going to be that one one and two it's a one clear so n0 is nothing but n2 plus one. one it's always true even you can try that any binary tree any binary tree you this condition is going to be true so this is also true yes. even it's a balanced or unbalanced even you go with even you go with unbalanced in the sense i don't say that you know uh, you have the tree like this. So you have this. You have this. And you have this. Something like this. Even in this case also it happens. Even it's a balance or unbalance. So if you consider that number, number of them with two. This is one. This is two. Yeah. It is now N2 is two. Am I right then? Mm. Is can it right? Two, 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 two. Can you repeat this part, please? Yes, yes, sure. sure. For you. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Fine, fine, fine. Definitely. I'll do it. Mm, yeah. yeah. Sorry. Mm, at this place, I can do it. I think some erasing part is a problem. Okay. No problem. Yeah. Uh, this one is what exactly it wants to tell you us. So, whenever that a particular binary tree or it a binary search tree, it is having a nodes a number of nodes with zero child is n0 number of uh, you know nodes with a zero zero means it is leaves so where it does not have that left and right descendant both of them are missing in that case but wouldn't that mean that the node itself is actually a leaf 
yes you can say that it's a root itself if it is not having any descendants a leaf clear yeah for example if you consider like this in this case a two leaves b and c now b and c are leaves so that what we can say that n zeros are two is it right yeah two two leaves are there correct now n2 which is exclusively the number of nodes which are having two children right now it's one is it clear okay yep now the right. condition the condition always true is n0 is nothing but n2 plus 1 this condition is always true in binary set tree so we hmm. we want to check it whether that's a true or not for example you can consider this particular tree this this one this one clear mm -hmm. so i am taking with a different color okay the color is not a problem this particular tree if you consider so this is having that n2 because two children is there mm -hmm. this is also having n2 correct. this is also n2 am i right correct now n2s are three yeah fine yeah so now n zeros we consider which are not That's having any one. any particular descendants four yep so again the condition is satisfied simple so that n0 is nothing but so n2 plus 1 so n2 is already it's 3 3 plus 1 which is equal to that n n0 simple clear yep thank yeah. you yeah um, i'm getting confused between binary tree and binary search tree yes the characteristics of which can you just Yeah, think, yeah, yeah, simply, simply. Binary trees. It's all first. Basically, you think about tree. Trees. A root is having any number of descendants. Right. So one, two, three, four, five, something like. That. So binary trees. It is having only two like children. Two descendants, yeah. Left descendant and right descendant. Correct. So some more improved version is this. Descendants must have a condition. What's the condition is always left must be less than the root value. right must be greater than that root value okay so remember whenever you build binary search tree assume it all of the elements are unique yeah okay yeah. but thing is whenever you are building binary search trees there is a exclusive left skews and right skews are created yeah so that means if you give all elements are in increasing order or a decreasing order so at that time even you build a binary search tree also searching complexity is not reduced mm -hmm. it goes to that only one of and just like a searching element in a list even it's a sorted one is it right mm -hmm. okay. so so because you know all elements are like you know if it is one so if you are going it is left descendant and right descendant in that way so if you are going in ascending order or descending order If you go like this, if you go like this, always it is going to the one side. You are searching, is it right? right? It's lopsided, yeah. So, 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 so that it's going that O of n complexity only searching complexity is not reduced. So right. that's the reason we go for improved version of binary search trees AVL. Balanced. Every time it we are inserting and we try to balance it. That's it, simple. Clear. Uh, sir, can a binary search tree make a heap? Um, uh, either it's max heap or no. No, no, no. Max heap condition is only condition is root must be greater than its left and right descendant. That's it. So, but in the case of binary search, sorry, binary search tree, what happens? You know, see root, left, right. So that what is the condition is you know left. is less than the root and root is less than the right is it right these three conditions are satisfied two conditions are satisfied because the root is in between that left and right is it right so that if you do a in order traversal in order traversal means left root right you get ascending list clear because it's a binary search tree if it is a max heap it's not guaranteed is it clear yes that's right that's a difference yeah just give me a one second huh? i'll drink the water and i'll go for fifth question <clears throat> Okay, 
yeah look now uh, uh, sorry to interrupt again mm -hmm. okay this much is clear Mm -hmm. uh, what is the primary difference with the heap? Uh, the ladies just asked, and I remember, got reminded. Yes, 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 yes. Just a moment. Just a I'll draw that particular sure, sure, spot. Sure. Yeah. Maybe this. Yeah. Look at this. We are trying to build list of elements. Let me take a list of elements. Seven, nine, two, thirteen. 6, 27, and 1. We want to build it a max heap. Yeah. First. So first 7 is coming. So we try to insert the element. So that uh, 9. So once you have inserted, so definitely 9 is bigger. So it it's a it's a not satisfying the condition. So that 9 is going to the top now. Sir, uh, a request that uh, uh, do it by hippify method, please no, do no. it. Yeah. Because, you know, just let me do it a simple way. <laughs> hippify okay. method, I am not even, I have to look at back now. Okay. So, this is uh, 9 and 7. So, after that 2 came, 2 anyway, we are adding to the right descendant of this 9. So, no problem because condition of the binary, sorry, max heap is satisfied. Root and root must be bigger sorry. than that left and right. Is it right? Okay. One question, one question. Mm -hmm. What do you mean by condition of yes, max heap? Yes, yes, yes. Condi condition is mm -hmm. always root must be greater than left and right descendants. That's only the condition. It doesn't matter which sequence. Left no. or right can be any no other problem. Here that, 2, okay. here 7 can be there. No okay. problem. That is the condition of it. Yeah. For example, if you go with BST, clear? Mm -hmm. In this, what happens, you know, we always do that. Root left is less than root. And right is greater than root. Okay. So what happens, you know, if you do a in order traversal, I'll get two seven nine. Yeah, you can get ascending order. Yeah. This is guaranteed. Hmm. But but if you do that in order traversal, so you get seven nine two. That hmm. that never hmm. matches to that maxi. But right. BST matches it. That's it simple. Okay. Right. Right. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. So after this. Yeah, this question is important then. Okay. I'll finish up this question. This is very sure, important. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah. So, can you have an idea of this one? How to solve this one? Starting time and ending time of it? Definitely, we have to apply the greedy approach only. Mm. Am I right? Yeah. The subscript is the end time or how is yeah. that? Yeah. Yes, is that starting yes. time and E is that ending time. End start time and end time is it? yes okay. yes yes so basically if you want to do this kind of problem so we try to make it you know some sequence of list like this could be considered as a list so every event is started and ended let me make this one is one two three four <coughs> five six seven eight nine ten eleven 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. So let me make a sequence now. So after making it, we, we try to make it the first one. This one is there, 1. So yes, it started here. What is the ending time for this one? 4. 4, cool. So simple. So we got that starting and ending time for the A. Now B. So that its starting time is this two. What is the ending time? Eight. Cool. So similar way, if you do that, others. So that C, it is three. Three and six. Yeah, three started here and it's ended with six. Six. So then after it, D. It five. started with five. And ended with ten. ten. So then D is over E. Seven. He started with 7. 
sorry and it ended with 12 12 so then after it uh, e is over f is started with 9 so f is started with 14. 9 14 yes so after that g started with 11 so it's ended with yeah. 15 so h is started with 13 so it's ended with 16 16 16 yes now the thing is very simple we need to sort them based on the ending time very simple we we try to sort them based on the ending time end time yeah if you sort that based on the ending time what happens you know so we get it i think it is sorted <laughs> i don't worry about this one no sir sort sorting no. based on the ending time no no it is not sorted on ending time one, one yeah four, yeah one two, one eight, eight, eight. yes 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 you are right one so, four one four three six only one difference is hmm. one four three six Three, rest six, of, rest two, of them eight. is okay, no? Rest, rest of them are okay. Okay, okay. Then we do it. So this is 3-6. This is? 4-8. 2 8 2-8. 2 8 2 Okay. Yeah. 3-6 and 2-8. So now we, we try to make it for the allocation. So what really the question is, what is the minimum number of rooms required to schedule that activities in the set of rooms? Yes. So if you, if you start at a set of rooms, um, we can First, give it. A yes. will require one room. A and this one. A. This one R1. R1. Yes. R1 ending time. R1. Ending time. Four. Can we start it for this? Yes. This one R1. Yes. I can yes. use it for this one. Yes. After 10 is finished, I can use it for this one. R2, no. R1? No, no, no. 10 no. is over, no? No, 7. It is no, no, I cannot. I cannot. I cannot. I cannot. I cannot. So I, 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 can I, I, can, I can use it this one. Yes, Clear. you can use it for 11. Okay. So, hmm. 15 after, I cannot do it because starting time 13 is there. 13. Now, another room we started. Room number 2. 2. It is 6 is ended. Okay. So, yes. I can use it for this one? 7? Yes. This R2. is R2. So this 12 is ended, so I can use it for this one. Yes. So still only the two things, that is R3 room, third room. And then after I 8 is ended, yeah, I can start it from this. So that R3. Only three rooms are required. Three rooms are Yes, required. it's over. Simple, clear. Yeah. So that's it uh, pretty much. Any, there. any other approach other than greedy for this problem? No, no, greedy is the right approach. Actually, sorting based on either uh, if this kind of problem is there means definitely sorting based on, you know, uh, ending time only. Based on the ending time only, we try to find out. Uh, that's that's only the greedy approach. If it is dynamic programming, it's different. Based on the past results, we try to compute the current results. But the greedy approach is this job. Yeah. No other this way. is similar to the um, uh, railway pet platforms. Yes, exactly. exactly, 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 exactly. So the uh, leaving time and then arrival yes. time is considered. Arrival right. time and departure mm. time. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody wants to ask something in the last time, something. Hello. Yeah. Uh, the graded assignment week eight. Uh, mm. Yes, I'm going. The same problems four and five. Mm -hmm. um, yes. I understood only a portion of it. If it will be really helpful if you could solve it. I'm them going. I'm going. Through. Yeah. Graded assignment eight. Four. four and five both of them yeah just if we have discussed this oh, one, okay. please okay. kindly kindly check it huh? okay you, you can you have that uh, uh yt youtube streaming just you go okay. back and check it once huh? i have a similar problem from one of the previous year questions okay can you share it yeah i'll share my screen do you want me to share my screen or capture it on i'll, I'll stop it i'll stop it just you can just you hear it. Yeah. Just a second. There. Let me know once you see it, please. Yes. 
So what is the time complexity for the relation? That's a time constant is given T of 1 for n greater than whenever that's a uh, base condition is when it is reached to 1. So other than that 8 times n by 2 plus n. Okay. So 8 times n by 2 means every time n by 2 recursions 8 times it's dividing. So let me write this equation first now. What really happened is, wait a minute. Mm, for the time complexity, we need to find out it. Yeah. 8 times n by 2 plus n. Yeah, you can close it. Okay. T of n equal to. Yeah. So my screen sharing my screen. Yeah, it's a prof work. Yeah. This is the condition is given that recursion relation that is 8 times n by, two, by 2 n by 2 plus, plus n. Yeah. So at this time n is a constant one that's cn which is constant one. Let me go for the recursion now. So this recursion is you know 8 times n by 2 is happening. Is it Correct. right? That will be 4 n. Yeah. So that it's going to be that n by 2. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. Because I have to start it from n because it's a recursion relation. So I'll start it with n now. First, basically. So first, n is there. T of n. Now this is going for that 8 times first. So every time it is T of, T of n by 2, T of n by 2. So this 8 times it's going. At this time, it's a constant time is n. So at this time, what is this one? 4 n. 8 times. 8 times n by 2. Yeah, 4 n. 4 n. 4 n. Is it right? Yeah. So next time, when you are going that n by 2, the next again 8 times. n by 2 again, it's going for 8 times. So what is that? It will be 16 n. 16 n. n by? N by 16. N by 16. No, no, no. It is. By 16. It no. is. It is the N final value will be 16 N. Final. Final one is 16. What is this each one? N by, uh, four, each by 4. N by 4. Because yeah. every, every time we have to do the half of that, no? So hmm. N by 2 will go to the half. N by 4. Clear? So that it is going. Final one is going to be then? 8 into. 16 n. 16 n. 16 n. Is it increasing or decreasing? Increasing. It is increasing. It's increasing. Yeah. It's increasing. Okay. That's remember it's increasing. Please kindly share your screen now. Okay. Just give me a second, please. Yeah. Somebody tries the hand. No, no, no. I accidentally pressed that. Okay. Okay. So now, what is the time complexity of the following recursion? It's n. So n cube. Why it is n cube? So it's increasing means the base condition is. So when it is increasing, series is growing exponentially. Yeah. It is going that exponentially means n log, uh, n, lo n to the power of log c and r. Here c value and r value you c consider. Is, c is 2 and uh, r is uh, 8. R, so is, r, r, r is? R is 8, no? No, R is. Yeah, R is 8. R is 8. So, it, log to the base 2 of 8 will be 3. Yes. So, that N cube. N cube. N cube. N cube. We got it. Clear? Hello? Okay. Okay. Uh, the formulae that are there in the... Um... Yeah, summary sheet is there, no? Summary sheet at the... Yeah, in the summary sheet, that is where you'll find this information. Yes, yes. So third, third option is there. Increasing series is there. When exponentially growth is there. The constant factor is larger than the previous term. So then okay. O of O of yeah, n to the power of log CR. Okay. 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 Right. Yeah. So here we don't consider that plus n which is there. No, plus n is considered because that n that only that, that n that n only it is it increasing or decreasing. From oh. the from the n, we are going for the next level. Mm -hmm. No, it's okay, increasing. Okay. Okay. n to 4n, 4n to 16n. Mm -hmm. 
that's right, it. right. Yeah, over. Right. There. Yeah. Okay. Yes, yeah, Swanam. Yes, sir. Uh, so my question is uh, for finding the shortest path, we use uh, Dikchitra algorithm, mm -hmm. or sometimes we use uh, Wellman force. So mm -hmm. why we use uh, Wellman force instead yes. of yes, 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 yes. Because... See, look at. Uh, I, I'm sharing my screen, uh, quickly then. If, for example, let me share my screen. Uh, sorry See. to interrupt, sir. So, will you take uh, questions only or no? No questions. Not, only these doubts. These doubts. Clarity. Okay. So we can leave now. If you don't have doubts. Yes, you can. You can. You can. Okay. Okay. Look at. For example, a graph is there. Both of them are single source shortest. Is it right? Okay. Both of them. Even it's a Dijkstra's. First, you consider the Dijkstra's. If you consider Dijkstra's, it is single source shortest path. It sir, are you for... sharing the screen? Ah, yeah, I'm sharing. It's not visible. Okay, okay. It's not visible. Yeah. Okay. Yes, now, look at, now visible. Look at, look at. So my graph, if it is having no negative weights, no negative weights, negative weight should not be there. Then Dijkstra's will work. So what exactly, you know? So you have A, B, and C and D. See, all of them are connected like this, single source shortest path. So we have weights, something like 5, 3, 2, 1. For example, any of the weight is minus 2. This Dijkstra's okay. algorithm output, it will get it. But we are not sure that that is the shortest path or not. Sometimes it may result that negative weight. That is not a constant. That is not a solution. That is not an optimal solution. Okay, sir. Uh, that is why I, I'm asking this question because uh, in our mock mock mm. quiz mm. two, mm. there is a question number three. Mm. Please wait. check. Uh, wait, 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 wait. I'm going. Three. I'm going for question number three. Mock quiz question number three. Three or four? I'm mm. not sure. Yeah, yeah. I'm just okay. Okay. Yeah. So this is. Second one. Yes, yes. yes. The second, second one. Not second three. one. Okay, second. second second one. So here, look at, consider a following graph. Here it's a directed graph. Negative weights are there. Remember? Yes. Clear. Suppose we want to find out the shortest path from vertex. A single source yeah, S, yes. Yeah, single vertex S yes, to other nodes. Here S is given. Clear? So yes. which is the origin, you know, single source shortest is. The source is always yes. Which of the following options is correct? See, Dijkstra's algorithm will run the correct shortest distance from vertex X to other vertex in the given graph. See, what really, you know, first you consider whenever negative weights are there, the Dijkstra's algorithm may or may not give the correct solution. Clear? Okay. Yes. That's the reason the Dijkstra's algorithm will correct shortest is not guaranteed. Sometimes it will return correct. Sometimes it may not. Okay. Clear? Why it is, you know, sometimes it creates a negative cycles. For example, if you think this way, this one, this one, see, look at, for example, I'm talking about this. From S to D, minus 6, minus 6 and 7, it's a 1, okay? There is no, again, return cycle, no problem, this one. Minus 4, minus 4 to uh, this S to minus B is minus 4, and B to A is minus 1. Is it clear? Yes. From S to B is minus 4. Minus 4 and 3, it's going to minus 1. Is it right? Is it right? Yes. So that if, for example, again, if you have a cycle from A to S, maybe it is a negative cycle. The impact is continuously increasing. So that it never ends process. Let me draw a simple kind of graph, whether negative cycle is existed or not. See, look at, I have A. I have B, I have C. So here, if you consider this, 5 minus 4 minus 2. Here, negative cycle is existed. For example, if you consider source is this. Source is this. You are applying Dijkstra's algorithm. Is it right? Yes. Now, what happens? You know, A to B, 5, you got it. Then five B to C, you are getting it as 1. Is it right? Yes. 
So from one to minus one again, you are getting minus one. Is it right? One to minus. Two. Ah, yeah, yes. minus one. Again, minus one and this five, four. Four. Again, four and minus four. Zero. Zero. Then zero and minus two. Minus two. So it never stabilized. Okay. Because of that, Dijkstra's algorithm negative edges. Okay, when the negative cycle exists, we do uh, we cannot use uh, Dijkstra Dijkstra's algorithm, but we we use when the negative weights. If negative weights is there. We can use Bellman Ford, but Bellman Ford also what it will do, you know, okay. it will report that negative cycle is existed. Okay. But but uh, but Dijkstra's algorithm doesn't report you. It will be a wrong result. Okay. That's it. But what okay. happened? You know, the Bellman Ford. What it will do is, it will check it and it will report you. Sorry, here it's a negative cycle is existed. Please take care of it. It doesn't work. Okay. So in this case, the Dijkstra's algorithm will also work for. Yes, because the... negative cycle is not formed. Yes, only negative ne weights are. Yeah, formed. negative weights are there, but negative cycle is not there. Okay. Clear. But Dijkstra's is it supposed to be used with negative weights? Yeah, you can use it, but guaranteed the optimal solution we don't get it. May or may not be because you know by seeing of the graph, if you directly apply that Dijkstra's algorithm, if negative weights is there, maybe it results negative cycle. Due to the negative cycle, the results are not constant. It changed again. If you run that same particular algorithm one more time. Uh, I mean to say, uh, uh, leave the cycles part alone. Let's mm. assume there are no cycles. Mm. But if there is a negative weight, can mm. we still use a distrust? Yes, we can use it. We can use it. Okay. But it doesn't report also. Uh, yeah. Okay. No. I got I got that part. It doesn't report. But uh, Bellman Ford is it will report. Okay. Okay. It okay. can detect it negative cycle so that it will report. That's it. Okay. Clear. You. Yeah, you can use it. Uh, Dijkstra's it, uh, because it doesn't detect it. No, just it can work and show you that solution. Simple. Yeah. Oh. So here, Bellman Ford will return the correct shortest path from vertex is to all other. Yes, correct. Correct it is. See, Dijkstra's algorithm will return incorrect shortest vertex to at least one vertex in the given graph because it contains negative weights. Yeah, it is incorrect results also. Maybe you get it because maybe here, anywhere, maybe because if you run it once, you you get it. That's what the thing. In that case, Bellman Ford is Bellman Ford will return incorrect. No, this Bellman Ford incorrect results we don't get it. Bellman Ford is will return the correct result uh, from S to other vertices, even negative weights are there. And Dijkstra's algorithm shortest one in the graph is. Wait, 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 wait. Here's something tricky. Suppose we want to find out the shortest path from H to others. Dijkstra's algorithm will return the correct shortest distance. Definitely no. Correct shortest we are not guaranteed. Dijkstra's algorithm will return incorrect shortest. Yes. B option is correct. B <laughs> option. Option B is correct. Is it right? Uh, uh, no, no, sir. Uh, but there is option A and C. C is okay. But uh, based on this graph, A and B, I am also confused in A and B. But no, 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 C is right. C is right. C is right. C is right. I am confirm about it. But A and B, I am because also because confused. based on this particular graph, yes. this particular graph is not having negative cycle. Like you know, yes to A, again A to B, again B to S is there. There might be negative cycle. Look at you know. I'm drawing yeah, like yes, uh, it, it does not have negative cycle, yes, but yes, it yes. is uh, not negative. always give a correct solution, correct shortest path. So that B answer will also be right. Uh, B answer can be also can also be right. No, no, in this consideration of this graph, no, currently this graph, they want to consider current graph. In the okay. current graph, it is definitely correct result only. Oh yes, yes, yes. Because because this SC is this SC is exclusively considered in this graph only. So in this case of graph, this one is correct. Yes. That is fixed. We don't we don't have any change. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Fine. Thank you. Yeah. I have a couple yeah. of questions. Yeah, you can you can cut again. 
I'll just share my screen. These are all PYQs. You can, you can. Hello, Kartike. Can you please share the PYQs? Yeah, he share, he share, in he share. chat box. In chat box. Okay. Not only one question. I want to. Uh, Yeah, this is the question. Yeah. This is um, uh, weights as you given, considered that each of them is with the subset of it. At least if you can tell me, like, uh, if you can uh, discuss the approach is also okay for me. No, we don't need wait, to... Wait. Right. Yes, yes, yes. Wait, wait. So there's four items in the each unit of the weights and value. The task is to pick up a subset of these items such that their total weight should be less than or equal to that 13 maximum weight capacity. You know, the capacity of the bag, it might be there. Yeah, the total value is maximized. Consider the each item has only one unit. It cannot be split. So the total value of the item is picked as the optimal solution. So the total value of the item is picked one greedy optimum, sort that item by value. So by value, they are sorting to weight. Because there is something called we optimize. Uh, what is the optimize approach? This here we will use only greedy, right? Yeah, greedy what? only. Optimal. What, is, what, what is the meaning of optimal? Optimal what actually sorting, optimal. sorting job we do. I think uh, that's only the way. Optimal. No, they say optimal algorithm. Then which algorithm we should use? Picked by an optimal algorithm. The total value of the items has been picked up with the optimal algorithm. The optimal algorithm means it is a greedy method only. Greedy only. The, the, then, the, then greedy the, is the else. result. The result of that uh, greedy, they call it is optimal uh, with algorithm. Okay, but we what is we greedy? The total value of items picked by one greedy approach. That sorts the item. Ah, okay, okay, okay. The value of the V op V optimal minus V greedy. Is it mm. right? Mm. Is it right? Yeah, yeah. The last value is given that the value of uh, V optimal minus V greed. What is that? I don't understand. Wait, wait, wait. If it is greedy, maybe it should be there. Any of the summary in the optimal of the seventh week? Greedy methods. Seventh week is greedy because no? seventh week all 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 the all are greedy approach only right that is what is given at least in the uh, no, whatever no. approach we discussed is all greedy. I don't find it only they are interleaving shit. all of them greedy algorithms. They all no. are greedy. That's what uh, at least was. Uh, I don't remember. Just you okay. Post, it's okay. You... It's okay. This one. Uh, uh, what about this one? This one. Okay. Is... Okay. You can, you can okay leave, leave that one it's okay it doesn't yeah leave random it. sequence of positive integers okay so, so we have a partition them into two sets like okay. two halves p and q left and right yes such that difference between some of the sets is going to be that so some of the p set some of the q set okay two sets minimum is uh yeah minimum of this one which of the following greedy strategy would work them Greedy mm -hmm. strategy minimum of first set and minimum of second set. <laughs> Between that, some of these. Wait, wait. Two sets is taken, two offs is given P and Q. P is a left partition, Q is a right partition. The difference between some of these two sets, that is, some of P sets, is a minimum. What is the minimum again? Uh, so I think the question actually means that you have to partition that into two yeah, different. That, groups. That's okay. That's okay. But uh, okay. after some of elements, some of elements in the first group and the sum of elements in the second group, mm -hmm. uh, we subtract uh, them. 
Uh, yeah, yeah. We should, we should subtract the difference, and the oh. absolute difference should be minimum. Okay, okay. So, what so greedy strategy should... works then? Like, uh... so, so let's sort uh, let's sort that uh, sort that into two different uh, parts. Okay, and the first one definitely will not work. So, all even portion elements and odd portion elements will not work. <laughs> No, no. If you sort it to a, a partitions, left side elements all are smaller than the right side elements. Is it right? No, need not be right. No, no. Actually, you, you uh, said so it is sorted. So, uh, if you, even if you sort it right, uh, uh, we are picking like so five elements from uh, five elements and then putting it uh, in one set, and then the remaining five elements go to the other set. Uh, we don't have uh, we can pick the first element and the last element and then put it in set no, one. No, no. Uh, no. I got confused. If if you put odd and even, normally since they are taking a mod, it should be odd and even means every difference will be one. That will be the no. What exactly? No, not necessarily. Not necessarily. They are taking odd positioned elements and even positioned elements. That, no, that, that means they, that they, they, they index zero will go to one. No, they take the mod, mod of uh, summation, right? Kartikeyan, Kartikeyan, here we need to find out which of the greedy approaches is possible, no? Mm -hmm. So that we try that each of the possibility. For example, sorting x1 to xn and put all even position element into P and odd position elements into the Q. Is it right? Mm -hmm. So what happened, you know, so alternative elements is going to be placed. Okay. Mm. So from the sorted whole entire list is sorted. Then we try to put it that even elements in one place, odd elements in the one place, like first element, third element, fifth element in Q position, second element, fourth element in the first, first list. Is it right? Mm -hmm. So then what you do is we try to do the sum of them, addition of them. Clear? Yes. Say so for example, one three five, one three five, mm -hmm. and two four six. Okay, okay. Difference we, will be oh, what? Uh, it will be three only. Okay. So and here, if, if the if the count is eight, no, so plus, if you if you do that right, uh, one three five two four six right? Why not uh, one and uh, one and six in one group, two and five in another group? No, oh, but well, we sorted and, and then took uh, took the odd and even right. You, but and that's not giving them. you the correct solution, right? That's not giving you the correct answer. No, because no. they say even position element in P or mm. in Q. Yes. Yeah. Yes, that's fine. So one, three, five will be there, and uh, two, four, six will be in another group, correct? Yes. Difference so will be it, three. That will be the be minimum three, difference, but, right? No, minimum difference. That is not that 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 may not be the minimum difference, right? So let's okay. say one six and uh, uh, one six will be in one group. Uh, uh, then two five in another group. Then if you put three and four in two different groups, the difference will be uh, one, right? So one six and three in one group. Uh, then two four and five in the next group. But if none of the, see none of the options doesn't work for that result, you know, because what we are trying to obtain such that the difference between some of these two sets is that is P set and Q set is a minimum one. Yes. The difference. Yeah. Yeah. That the first see uh, he, uh, as Karthi games I was telling right one six and three two four and five okay mm -hmm. I split two different sets mm -hmm. so two four is six plus five is eleven uh, six plus one seven seven plus three is ten so the minimum difference can be one for the same set of numbers if I split into two different partitions uh, the minimum is one <coughs> correct. So, so the, uh, we have a three is not the answer. One is the answer. So the first solution cannot work. Okay. Second one, median elements. Uh, uh, find the median element of. Uh, that definitely not. That definitely will not work. Yes, definitely doesn't work. Okay. Fourth one, third one. Uh, sort the elements. Sort. Again, from the XI is created set P two. Uh, then, then what the strategy is better for this one? What greedy strategy is better? 
what readings have the uh, read have. let me check in google, in google yes yes that was the thing so here the greedy method is i think no suitable greedy method i think so this one that's the thing they have given none of these I think I need to think some. Yes, some yes. Oh. Actually, so there is a new method. Actually, we, we don't have the suitable greedy method for this particular problem. I think so. I'm not sure. Even I searched it. So for finding of this uh, greedy method for finding of two sets minimum. Like uh, two sets of minimum. Uh, it, the, this problem is there in, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, uh, Geeks for Geeks, GFG. Is it there? It is there. Uh, and the solution is also that those who want to, here you go. Can you paste the link, please? Yes, yeah. yes, you can. Yes, just a matter. Done. Yeah, I'm Thank you. Baskar and I opened it. Okay, okay. It's a divide and conquer, no? Is it divide and conquer? Uh, I, uh, yeah, if you have some other one, what approach yeah. there is. Yes. They are doing a recursive solution. And, yes, yes. Uh, yes, recursive solution. Will you please check it then? If the solution is then it is going for difference is this approach of the memoization. It's a concept of memoization also using. Another uh, approach is memoization that is dynamic programming. I think it's not suitable for greedy. I think so. I'm not sure. Yeah. Anyway, it's a, I think. Okay, sir. I will just check. Uh, yeah, this problem cannot be solved with. It's a definitely dynamic programming. I'm sure then. Either dynamic programming or they did it with divide and conquer. That's what the thing. Yeah. I am okay. seeing a few more questions on previous years. So I'm just a little confused about them. Because yes, share it. Share I'll, it. I'll share the screen. Share it, share it, share it. Okay, I will start with this one. Hmm. How many unique paths are available from zero to four? The condition that you have given travel to one step to right and one step to up. The gray box is intersection. Yeah, this is okay. It's a maze, you know, maze solution. Correct. Uh, but are we dealing with no, that? No, 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 I'm, I'm not dealing with this one. No, no, no. Uh, is it something which was taught in the course at all? Uh, like... I don't think it is this kind of problem I have seen till now. I think dynamic programming is the next week. Is it next week? Week nine. Week nine content. Uh, yeah, it I is week nine content. Week nine content. Yes. Okay. And what is this Robin Corp? Yeah, Robin Corp already we have discussed it. No, that is you know integer multiplication. Sorry, sorry, Karat Subhas. So Robin Corp is it is a eleventh week. So it is you know network programming. Okay. Network flows. So yeah, it is 11. This one is uh, for the end term. <laughs> no, yes, exactly, exactly. <laughs> this we end term. will do it yes. next yeah. week, two, three weeks. Rabin Karpis not belongs to this eighth week. Okay. Eighth week Karas, yes. I don't I don't I pick the mid. I mean, like, yeah, I remember actually going for uh, diploma. Dynamic no, programming okay, is okay, a ninth okay. week. Ninth week. Okay. Quiz tenth two, week is strings. Eleventh week is uh, network flows and. Uh, yeah, linear programming. Yes. Okay. I made okay. the mistake of selecting end term and okay, uh, scratching okay. my head as well. We will leave these in now. choice. That's it. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Uh, uh, this problem, uh, will you be able to help me? Sure okay. Uh, this one actually uh, is 2 power h minus 1. Is that the way we have to go? Because that I would not end up with 88. Wait, wait, wait. So, what will the minimum number of this uh, tree with 9 height? Okay. So they consider the height of the tree is empty. So that whenever no nodes is there, the height of the tree is zero. zero. At least one nodes is there, nine. So that yeah. minimum number of nodes. So minimum, you know, at least. Correct. At Correct. least, what is that? Now this one, we have to use this Fibonacci, right? H minus two, S H minus two plus uh, mm. S H minus one. 
Yes. Plus, that is the minimum yeah. or the maximum? I am maximum, the, maximum. That's the minimum. Maximum will be a two power this. Uh, two to the power of H. Ports they are asking. I... Okay, that was my because problem. since they are asking nodes, maximum will be the balanced, full complete balanced. Will AVL, have... no, it is complete. Yeah. So the minimum is uh, n of h is equal yes. to n of h minus two plus n of h minus, minus two. Plus and then you yes. have to go zero, one, two. I three. mark them opposite in my notes. Plus one, plus one, plus is, one. Yeah, yeah, the n plus one. Yeah. The n plus one. Okay. 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 I mark them opposite, and that was the problem. Okay. All right. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, yeah. sir. All the yeah. best, everybody. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Very thank much. you very much. Everybody, thank all you. the best. Huh? All Is there best. any way we can, I can thank contact you. you or trouble you with any questions in the meantime? No, just it is. You know, you can post in the discourse, discourse. with tag yeah. with the tagline, which just at okay. the rate. At the rate, Satinaren. Okay. At the rate, Satinaren. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Bye. Thank, thank you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye. Good night. Good night. Thank you.